Joe Chicho, what is your opinion on nationalizing the pharmaceutical industry? I I want decentralized, man. I want these right now. Pharmaceutical companies rule, control governments, right? Is it do they have the most amount of lobbyists in government right now? That or the war industry, the the war things, uh, or who is it? Right? I think it's the pharmaceutical industry that has the most amount of lobbyists in government. So they already run the government. So we want to flip it around and get government to run those guys. But they are, right? Because if you look at the CEOs or the top management in most of the, uh, what do you call it, pharmaceutical companies, they actually had a role in the CDC and the FDA, right? They were like that. Some of them were the top person in the CDC goes and becomes the CEO of Moderna or Pfizer, right? Or astrogenica or whatever it is right uh the top person in the fda goes and becomes the cfo of uh moderna or pfizer or whatever right there is no separation right now between government and pharmaceutical companies right because it's a revolving door they're all just going through it okay i think what needs to happen is there's got to be laws put into place that time limit then no one in government that holds a position in a certain field should be allowed to work for a pharmaceutical or any other type of company that they were regulating for at least for at least 15 to 20 years right banned from working with any of these companies for 15 to 20 years maybe even given them a lifetime ban right for example check this out this this is in regards to business but it applies in this principle right when you let's say you own a company right you create this product right you have a factory right and you decide to sell your company when someone comes to buy it right in the contracts and you're a dumb dumb if you don't put this in the contract if you're buying this person's company right in the contract it usually stipulates that the person you're buying this company from will not will not and cannot open up a business similar to this okay or the same type of business within your area and whatever your region is you it, if this is a huge multi-billion dollar thing it would be like international if it's a small company like a multi-million dollar company or a few hundred thousand dollar company it could be just very regional right in the contract it should stipulate and if you're doing this make sure you have it in there that this person you're buying it from cannot open up a factory similar to it or work for any company similar to it for at least five years right because what that means if they sold it without that stipulation maybe they sold you a junk factory with all useless equipment they just wanted to unload and you being the fool that bought it that didn't have the stipulation they these guys just unloaded this crap to you and then the next month they go and open up a new company right new headquarters and they have their client list right they call up all their clients why would the client stay with you because when you buy a business like this the client list goes with it right why would the client stay with you with someone new with old equipment when they can go to the person they've been dealing with for years or decades with a factory with new equipment right stipulation that's what should happen right in government these guys are running the government are the watchdogs of these corporations right making sure that these corporations do not screw over humanity and it's a revolving door they go work here and then go get paid stocks options and stuff like this make a ton of money what an insane system especially when it comes to healthcare. what an insane system who dreamt up this fascism right because this is what it is right according to the original definition of fascism by benito mussolini right is the merger of government and corporations and using the citizens to do have the best interest of not the citizens but the corporations in mind right insanity insanity